Yo, what's cracking? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. I'm here to drop another message for you guys today. Like, share, follow, hit that notification button, that subscribe button. Select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads upload, you feel me? Yo, let's give some thanks to my dad, the Most High God, uh, for bringing us here to commune with the divine at this given time, or for any given time for that matter. Um, I can't, you know, always show gratitude to people. I'm telling you, my people, other people, muggles, magic, my pure blood magic folk. Pure bloods and muggles there's a difference okay people got magical blood some people just don't that doesn't make you uh, less less of uh, like a uh, no doesn't make anybody better than the next person it just makes people better at magic than you that's what i heard 44 on the clock as i said that come through spit it what's up baby i miss you i do it's me and you from now on baby you gotta know that all right collective Spirit guys, spirit team, law enforcement, I fucks with you. Ancestors, thank you. New subscribers, current subscribers, and OGs, I appreciate you. Anybody who supports the I Grow, You Grow, I Grow, You Grow movement, I Grow, You Grow, You Grow, I Grow, We Grow Together movement, love and light around this bitch. All right, so um, let's just ask the universe to take care of whatever problems people are throwing our way, and we're going to return to sender 10 times folk guided with love and light, all the love that people send out in this world. That's what I said, because that's what I heard earlier, okay, from Spirit spirit okay all right let's go let's go let's go so first things first okay i got some news good news okay i wrote some things down so this is going to be a, a a few parters so just bear with me so i i had mentioned earlier about alternate uh no i feel like i should do more research i do more research on that but let's just say that there are other use in other different dimensions or, or, or multiverses or universes or galaxies different time periods because it's all intersecting now that's why we're all waking up we all have to remember who we are these other yous have are all kind of right at the finish line but they're waiting on you to complete your part so everybody can go together ascension 5d ascension they're all sitting there waiting like when are you gonna do this because we are ready to move forward we're ready to go and that's when you get these channelings, when you get when, when when you get these readings, and you know ancestors that we speak of, sometimes our ancestors, if you want to consider them that, they do have, we do have ancestors that come, but we also have because um, you know in other, these other these other um, uh, dimensions and galaxies and multiverses, or you know they, they're they're more they have they have access to this technology that we just don't. So I'm I'm inclined to believe that they send they like they can jump and they can immediately jump into a body. And, and, and give you a stern talking to just like they can do it so can your enemies and other it's all the same shit that's why you get these body people who body these fucking it just can't hit me today come through spirit i'm gonna do some more research on this but i'm, I'm, I'm like i got god bumps all over my body because i'm starting to feel that you feel me and i just realized getting god bumps all over my body is the same feeling that i that i i, I can like god when i was with god the other night it's just all, it's all like i cannot explain it Whew. take a deep breath but that's how that's what I'm saying. I'm just I'm telling you all this shit in these multi. This is this is what's happening. You got these motherfuckers that can jump into bodies, your enemies from other. They, that's how they keep. Oh, my God. It's like the Terminator Total Recall type shit. And the um, so that's the first thing. So just. You have to listen to what's going on around you and inside of you as well inside of you really, though. Because them voices that you hear is not schizophrenia, not for everybody at least, but for the most of us. Uh, I don't know what I feel about schizophrenia, so don't even get me started with that. But what I'm saying is that you got to listen to those voices because that's those other yous telling you, guiding you, gently guiding you or shouting at you. <sighs> cross the finish line. To get, they're waiting on you to cross the finish line. That's what I know. That's, that's why you are being praised in other galaxies and worlds you don't even see. When you wake up and you have that burst of like, I can take on the world today, that's because you're being cheered on from other universes and dimensions where you are already being celebrated. You're already great where they where you are in those other universes. I know this. And they want they want all of you to be great together at the same time. That's the only way to get to the highest level of greatness. That's what I heard. Alright. Next thing's up. Okay, so I was listening to my girl, Spiritual Advisor LLC. What's up, Alicia? And she made reference to the fact that, you know, the, part of this gang stalking stuff is because 
you know, people think that you might be a Karen. And Karens are people, you know, you know Karens. Uh, you know, always just being, like, well, the way she looked it up, it was people just take things away over proportion, uh, they're entitled, they're privileged, and they have, you know, just overly dramatic about things going on around them. They're not such a big deal. So motherfuckers think that you're a Karen, or think I'm a Karen. Okay, well, whatever. I'm like Karen from, like, Will and Grace, though. Like, dead ass. I may be a Karen. If I'm gonna be a Karen, it's that fucking Karen. Not the Karen that they describe. I'm not a snitch. I don't take the... I don't really... I generally don't even care about shit well i care about stuff but i don't even make a big fuss about it unless it's you know personally affects me but i've learned that that's not the right way to be because what i've learned is this but i've always kind of i've always stood up for the underdog so i can't say that but what i've always known is this the same people that sit around and don't say shit because they don't want to be no punk or they don't want to be this they don't want to be a karen they don't want to be a snitch you know what i'm saying are the same motherfucking people that'd be looking for a karen once they ask get locked up for some shit they didn't do these same niggas running around here gang stalking me. I'd be the same niggas looking for a, a Karen when a police officer beats the fuck out of them and leaves them and leaves them on the corner to die. Be the same motherfuckers looking for Karens when they're ready to file that lawsuit and they need people to stand behind them. So get your shit together, people. The next thing. Um, so I have been getting a lot of okay a long time ago I had asked not that long ago but a long time ago I had asked Alexa Alexa who's Dwayne Bowdry Dwayne Bowdry was a student at the University of Michigan who studied um, who studied engineering and blah 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 yada 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 he was later killed blah 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 yada 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 and I thought that's you know I, I kept saying it but then the narc X was around me part of the family shit that he made sure that well, however however they blocked it because I couldn't find it anymore and I just thought it was weird so part of that I believe was um, had something to maybe do with um, the, the the funeral like they were having just in case anybody wanted to look it up but I've also been paying attention to signs and synchronicities and I've been seeing a lot of I, the race cars caught my eye the other day and I was like, what the fuck? Because, you know, spirit talks to me in a, a number of different ways. But YouTube is, you know, the algorithm. Let's just say AI. For people that don't want to make this about spirit. But the YouTube algorithm is once you start liking videos and content, the YouTube algorithm will guide certain videos that... I don't know how it works because I'm not in, you know, I'm not, I'm not about that life. I don't know anything about that. Not yet anyway, but they will send it, you know, will send videos towards you that are tailor made for you. I'm trying to tell you this. This is what I learned. So again today, that story still up by that newscast, by the way, that news station, by the way, I'm suing the fuck out of those bitches. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, but then uh, I, I just, I said, Boundary, let me look up Boundary. And look what I found. I'm gonna put a picture. The picture is gonna go up right here. Yeah, so it'll be here in a second. All right. I'll just scoot over some. All right, there we go. So now you can see the picture of this man. I'm gonna to read to you who he is. It's still going. Just making sure that it's still going. This is Richard Boundry. Born. Uh, I'm just gonna read this real quick to you guys, okay? Because it's very interesting. Uh, Richard Baldry was born on April 25th, 1947, as one of South Florida's first African-American stock car drivers from the 1970s and 80s. And at this time, it was probably one of only four or five blacks in the country to race stock cars regularly. While people of color have been making considerable contributions to the sport of auto racing as far as back in the early 1900s, the sport still suffers from blah, 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 blah. We're going to move forward. Um, in attempt to address this diversity issue, this diversity issues, NASCAR initiated a program in 2004 called Drive for Diversity in order to attract minority fans. To date, the program's success has been minimal at best. Nevertheless, pioneers such as Richard Baldry, along with his mentors and comrades, have greatly helped to lead the way to diversity in a sport traditionally defined as a, cu a culture, a certain culture, white Southerners. In fact, despite, Baldry, despite all odds, was able to successfully break through these barriers and is so doing. 
and in so doing, he has inspired many with his commitment and passion and paved the way for a new generation of race car drivers. I never knew this. I'm not saying I'm related to the motherfucker, but this is very interesting. Early life. Uh, Baldry was born in LaGrange, Illinois, and is a graduate of the University of Michigan. Told you. See, this is what happened. He holds degrees in electrical engineering and computer science. While at the University of Michigan, Baldry was known as a progressive leader in recruitment of minorities to the university's engineering department and served as the MEPO from director, a MEPO director from 1972 to 1974. In addition, he has worked on projects at NASA. Oh my God, I didn't read that part earlier. Worked on projects at NASA and has led an accomplished career at IBM as a computer programmer for over 40 fucking years. I think I found my fucking dad. While always a fan of stock car racing or uncle or some shit, Baldry's career started as a drag racer in Detroit, Michigan and quickly transitioned into the world of boat racing. Though he had never stepped a one foot in a boat before and didn't even know how to swim, he became one of the first African Americans to race the World Outboard Racing Association, WARA, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. What the entire, what in the entire fuck? This is a picture of him um, on a boat. We'll save that. I posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving that. And this is his car. Oh my God. Uh, I just got God bombs everywhere. In 1972, he left Michigan to head to sunny South Florida with his family, leaving behind the world of boat racing in pursuit of a new pastime in the exciting world of stock car racing. There he connected with Bill Keep, the first African American to race at the Palm Beach Fairground Speedway. Bill Keep mentored and encouraged Baldry, and, and in 1976, his number 86 stock car made its debut in the Thunder Car class at the Palm Beach Fairground Speedway in West Palm Beach, Florida. He became a permanent fixture in racing in the racing world and was known by many for his upbeat attitude and competitive spirit while eventually changing his trademark number 86 car to number 43 seven hello Baldry's racing legacy continued in South Florida for over two decades before his retirement in 1991 that's that's there's nothing about whether or not he's still alive whether or not he died but I thought that I would share that tidbit thank you spirit 229 on the clock damn confirmation To, to be quite honest with you, I don't know if this has shit to do with me. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's pull some cards on something. But that is a moment in black history with your Uncle 7-9, the spiritual savage, Dwayne Baldry, I might add. See, these are the things, like, why wouldn't, I mean, just for the plain and simple fact of the last name alone, you would think, you would, no, fuck that. You would think that I would have known, it, but that it was hidden from me. It was kept from me. That's some deep ass shit, Joe. Joe, I meant to say yo, but it came out Joe, whatever. Some people say Joe, like G, Joe, what's up, Joe? We're gonna pull from the the Dungeons and Dragons deck. Get some, what's the tea, bitch? Spirit said, Hello, <laughs> spirits like that's it. We have the same eyebrows and the same eyes. I looked at it. Then that's the only thing I could. And you know what else is weird? That's the only thing I can find on him. That's that's not that is not a coincidence. It is not. You can when you can't find why there should be shit all over the place about this man. On Wikipedia is the only place that and some and somebody put that there for me to find it. I know they did. We got the Ace of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Got the Ace of Wisdom. Our ability to access the power and insight to heal emotions and love ourselves. Uh, a, a group of elves asked the party. A group of elves ask if the party would aid them in recovering a secret artifact. I <laughs> just come through spit. I, you know, I'm, I'm still, I, you know, I still get kind of like 
144 in the clock. Oh my god, and 444 in the clock. Pay attention to your spear guides, y'all. What the fuck? Alright, so we're gonna get some three cards on this. I need to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons. I think I, I think my masculine knows how to play this for somebody. I don't know. I just kind of feel like that nigga know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. He finna learn. Nope, that's too many spirit. Can I get one more, please? All right. We got the two of strength. This is some stunning, stunning, I said stunning, stunning artwork on these bitches. Okay, let me just change this. Y'all know it sometimes takes me a minute to get to it, but you know, that's, who cares? That's not what this is, but that's not what we're, we're, we're on some, we're hunting artifacts today, so it takes a little bit of time. To, there we go. And this, look at this one. That's beautiful, isn't it? And there's an elf in there. Look at the mirrors. But we have the uh, two of strength. I'll read it. Growing and making progress toward a future goal. Enjoy discovering what you love to do. Uh, a drunken beggar in an alley swears to you he saw the king's son turn into a werewolf. There have been grisly killings in the city. Confirmation is the phone said, yep, somebody, there's been some grisly killings in the city. Wow. All right, we're going to pull, this is the page of charisma. That's next. I rarely use this deck, otherwise I don't. We have the page of charisma. Come on, where's that? Fucking A. Fucking affirmative. That's what that means, by the way. Fucking A. Uh, getting into action and rekindling a sense of adventure with even the small things. Realize what isn't working. Uh, something has torn down the rope bridge that spans the that, that spans the chasm. The villagers need help rebuilding it. This could be, I just, uh, immediately I heard connection to, connection to most high, connection to source, to enlightenment is what I just heard from that. And then we have the 10 of strength. It came out in reverse, so. Now, it, in the upright, it says, make sh making sure to speak up. Don't try to do it at all. Delegate responsibly where you can't express yourself. Um, a benevolent leader of druids wants their sacred stone back. It's in the crown of a pompous but powerful king. That's right on time. I say, okay, so now we're going to get the regular tea. Do we remember what the cards meant? I sure in the fuck don't. All right. So let's do it. 7.47 on the clock. Somebody's going somewhere. Take off. We're going on a jet. All right, let's do it. It's going to be a little longer. Probably 25 minutes. I just thought that was so much. I mean, is it nobody else's? You know what? You motherfuckers get on my nerves. Everybody ain't nobody. Everybody's like, it's about fucking time. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sitting here like, everybody's gonna be like, whoa. Everybody's like, we've been waiting on you to figure that shit out, dog. Wow. So this crazy bitch's mom, that's her dad. That crazy bitch is that. That's my, really my sister? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Let me get the two. Yeah, two of string. Nowhere to go. Don't know where to go. Don't know where to go. It's a two of wands. So these killers in the city don't have anywhere to go now is what I'm picking up on. This is the page of wands. So that's two one. Yep, moving backwards. Um, they don't have anywhere to go and nobody to talk to and the will of, will of fortunes yep listen the will of fortune is in the reverse due to uh, all the bullshit that they did because this is bullshit that they did now they're now they're like this okay mm -mm. look it so then you have the page of swords here goes these pages again and the force and the four wands in the reverse so what is this this is a uh, shit you know it could represent spying gossiping blah blah now they don't want people talking about their ass 
about how about how they about to lose everything they ever own. Ain't no reason to celebrate. Or motherfuckers is gossiping. This is, could be a low vibrational talking. Chitter chatter. Every motherfucking body talking. From their community of people. Could be. Spirit said everybody's talking about a fucking party. Everybody's gossiping about a, some sort of party or gathering. Spirit said that's the truth, Ruth. Mm-hmm. So that's what's going on with with the, with the with the killers. All the people, the, the people that were running all around doing all this killing, that's what's happening with them. Before the night's over, with let me write this down. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a segment called. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say it out loud first, but I gotta write it down. Um, one second. Yeah, I'll be back later. Definitely be back later. All right, page of charisma. This is about the connection, the uh, the, the the rope to the bridge, the chasm, uh, and that's the thing that rolls the bridge up or opens and can open and close the bridge is broken, and then and people need help fixing it. You, uh, this is we're being we're being given some knowledge, the ace of wisdom. That's what this is about. We're getting we're from this is some fair could be some fairy knowledge, could be some fairies or elves at work or at play. Uh, I just heard nymph elves. Those little fuckers are something else. Though. Wasn't Tinkerbell a nymph? A nymph fairy or something? But yeah, so um, this could be significant. So this is obviously fire. Chat, the charisma, fire, yep, moxie. So the page, so this is the page of fire. It's somebody magical. Um, uh, coming to communicate something very passionately. Uh, magic, though, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, she's walking with a lion, so watch your ass. Watch your ass, Mr. Postman. Literally, and it stops fucking with people's mail. All right, so if there are people that are um, crying over spilled milk. You could be crying over spilled milk about a broken connection that you have to source or something that, uh, or something. But let's see, this is about a broken connection. Somebody could be crying over spilled milk, reminiscing on the past. Yep, they haven't healed from this. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not healing from this. Why? Yeah, they think they 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 reminiscing about oh shit. They're reminiscing about the Queen of Cups. There's a Queen of Cups energy, and, and they must have had a family or there. You know, something felt like home is what I just heard. You you felt like home to this person, and they they have not they've not been able to come back from the fact that y'all their connection has been broken. Yep, they've been you yeah. Listen, they're tennis sword. They've been tennis sorted. They tend to, or they tend to sort of Joe ass because it was in the reverse, but I'm taking it like either way. They tend to sort of Joe ass, you walked away probably. But they're 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 in the ten of swords. They 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 are they're done. They're done though. Yeah, I told you. Maybe this person's in jail or trapped in their head. They don't know what to do. They don't know which way to go. Yep, they, they don't they don't trust. They don't have any faith anymore because this is about faith. They don't have faith. They lost all kind of faith. They're trapped in their head about this shit. Well, somebody was a young dude. Came too quick. <laughs> uh, but as a young dude, though, who, who, who made premature, this is premature action, who, who, did th who did things before he thought about them is what I just heard. Let me get one more, please. Two more came out. This motherfucker can't sleep. Okay. Listen, I told you, he, he, didn't, he, he didn't think about stuff. He's, he's too busy. Now he's in his head like a moon. Now I'm motherfucker thinking. Okay. But... So instead, he wins the race in the reverse. This is he wasn't prepared for this. He wasn't prepared. He thought he thought he was gonna be a one y'all white when he left. I'm here and he goes to Joe ass. But check it. He thought he was gonna be sleeping like a motherfucking baby. Not no more, bitch. Okay. He wasn't prepared for all these sleepless nights. The same shit you went through. Hell, I can identify with that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't wish anything bad for anybody. Like you know, three, four, seven o'clock. Somebody's in Illinois. I don't wish anything bad. That's New York. My bad. New York. Somebody's in New York that's feeling like this. Over the Empress. I can't make it up. Oh. So we got the Ten of Strength. This is the Druids want the uh, want the coin back from a, from a fucked up pompous king that has it in um, his uh, his uh, his uh, crown. Isn't that what it said? Let's take one more look here. Bear with me. When you ask for stuff, you get it, collective. 
making sure to speak up. So somebody's not speaking up about this because it's in the reverse. There's something that was, okay, delegately, okay. Benevolent order of druids wants their sacred stone back. So there's something, somebody has something in their whole, and everybody knows, and they're not giving, they're not, they're not talking. They're not talking. I don't have anything on my tongue, by the way, either. Um, but I'm also reading the fact that, you know, somebody needs to speak up about this missing artifact. They may be scared to go against this powerful king. So nobody's speaking. Now, a benevolent order of druids wants their secret, sacred stone back. Now, it's in the reverse. They could be getting it back. Let's see. Maybe you're the druid. Who mentioned something about druids earlier? High priest, Damari the high priestess? Yeah, druids are very kind of, I have to look that up, but they hold a lot of, they hold a lot of power. I think, you know, they have a lot to do with, um, don't give me the line, fuck it. Secrets are, secrets are coming out though. Druids always reminded me of people that wore the cloaks and they were dark, you know what I'm saying? And clearly somebody's drinking coffee, but the secrets are coming out about this. Clarify. I'm picking up on the fact that there's a, a Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces heavy on the Cancer because of the moon. Yep, listen. Secrets are coming out. Let's see, this could be an investigator. It could be about a secret coming out about a Virgo, maybe. Clarify. So, secrets are coming out, but then somebody's looking into. Uh, looking into why somebody went into poverty maybe a Virgo went into poverty because of this shit a Virgo went into poverty because of this shit certainly did clarify again clarify the Virgo and uh, five of five attention calves uh, this Virgo is also a queen of wands a fighter it carries a lot of fighter energy or it could be because of an Aries too hello because that bitch that bitch that bitch that bitch all three of them hoes four of them clarify the uh, queen of wands please this better not be about the Queen of Wands I've been talking about. What else? So, yeah, it is. Well, one of them. They didn't want to get this shit back. They don't want to give it back. So now the secret's out. So now they're, they, they, after an investigation, bam. Hello. Due, due, to an, due to an investigation, secrets have been uncovered. Everybody's talking about it for what I just heard. Now motherfuckers is going broke, okay? The Virgo, yeah, the Virgo was in poverty, but these people are going broke. It's judgment season. Let's just call it like it is. So we have uh, a Queen of Wands that's going towards a weak-ass Leo. There's a Leo energy. Yep, a weak-ass Leo. A, a, the strength in the reverse. This Queen of Wands bitch is a trip. They go, they go, they're going in poverty. They're going into poverty. And you know, when the world, when the world, this is just the beginning of poverty for them. Because you know, the world card means, again, this is some jail shit. Let's, let, I bet you, let me clarify this shit. These motherfuckers get on my last nerve, G. Let me get one, please. What did I say? Who is the motherfucking man in this bitch? Going to jail. What I say? What I say? And that's the end of that motherfucking reading. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell, and that subscribe button. Closing out the reading and the portal. Okay. Your uncle seven nine twenty eight twenty eight. As I get done, like, share, follow, hit that notification bell, and that subscribe button. Select the all options so that you know when all of my uploads upload. Let's thank the Most High God for divine revelations, and I hope you appreciated our moment in Black history. It's your uncle seven nine, the spiritual savage. I love you, baby. I love you too, Collective. I love you too, Dad. I love you too, Comics and Narcs. I just don't fuck with you. All right? And in that order, Apple Orchard, we're out of here. Out of here. Deuces.